Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey, 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 hey. Hello, foodie booties. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's me, Zachary. This is Potato, my music aficionado. And we are here today to discuss the one, the only, Chantal Marie, Chantal Show, The Daily Chantal, Big Beautiful Me, Chantalopolis, Foodie Booty, Flobby Bobby, Chantal Al Rafe, whoever, whatever. We're talking about our girl Chantal because, wow, the past 24, 48 hours have been a lot on her channel. And I'm not going to do like a reaction reaction to most of this stuff that's happened because... Well, it's been a little bit all, all over the place. There's been multiple people involved. Uh, there have been things that were spoken not in English that had to be translated. Well, for me, had to be translated. Obviously not for everybody. But I would not have known if there wasn't somebody translating what was going on. And so it's just very hard to do, like, a real, raw, genuine reaction to some of that stuff when, like, homegirl is doing so much. <laughs> so much. And so uh, I'm just going to give you... We're going to check in is what we're really going to do because, let's be honest, the last video I did about old foodie booty. It was just me doing like a reading of her community tab posts and her raging and things like that. And surprise, homegirl has got herself in a situation type of deal sort of thing where she's raging about people she's actually interacting with in real life in Kuwait. And the one thing that Chantal never really seems to learn about any interaction or conflict that she has with other people is that, you know, you get to choose how you decide to react to people who allegedly have wronged you. And she just seems to always go for the lowest blow and then say, well, it's fine. I was defending myself. I was defending myself. But let me say this. I'm a little bit ahead of myself. So I'm going to give you that background. And then what I actually do want to react to today is, I don't know if y'all know this, but Chantal once upon a time was considering auditioning for Canada's Got Talent. And I think it's because she's so talented. And she did, in, in the span of time where I was like not really reacting to her all that much, she did make a song called Pathetic or something like that. And it itself was pathetic. She's pathetic. I think we all agree to that. And of course, this little song she put out is absolutely <laughs> a deflection of her, like, getting herself into all kinds of trouble in recent history in the past 24 to 48 hours. So what I'm gonna do is put some timestamps so you can skip to whatever part you wanna see. I'm gonna try to give my best summation of events that have happened <laughs> in the past 24 to 48 hours. And then I'm gonna give you a real, raw, genuine reaction with my pup potato over here to her her little music. Uh, well, in her words, her original sick beat. And we're just gonna laugh and have a good time. Let's get to, let's get to, shall we? So here are the things that have happened. This guy comes out of seemingly nowhere, at least for us here on the YouTubies, right? Like, he comes out of nowhere. His name's Ala Shabib, I think is his YouTube channel specifically, if you wanna go check him out. He does have some, like, regular YouTube videos on there, but then he also has two live streams where he specifically is just discussing Chantal and Sala. Um, if you're unfamiliar, Sala being Chantal's alleged husband in Kuwait. And Ala posted a little short that said, if you get me to a thousand subscribers so I can go live, I will post the real tea, the real story about Chantal and Sala. Hello everyone. Are you ready to hear the story for Salah and Chantal? I have the truth. Just follow me. I need 1000 subscribe to get live. After that, I will start to give you the real story, the real everything. If you need to know the truth, follow me. And I think almost immediately that raised some questions for some people because it's like, why do you need a certain number of subscribers before you'll just tell us this? But here's the thing, even if he couldn't live stream, he could still post all of those things without live streaming. So it's certainly worth noting that he probably is doing this at least a little bit for some clout. 
Although, who knows what his motivations are entirely outside of him. So he gets to 1,000 subscribers and he does do a live stream and he starts alluding to some things about Chantal, her being smelly. He actually does two different live streams and I feel like I might be mixing up some of the, the details and things like that. Chantal gets heated. And when Chantal is raging about something, I have to believe because it's at least somewhat true, like that has been a pattern for her, okay, is that when somebody speaks truths about her, she gets worked up, fired up, and immediately goes on the defensive. And so Chantal goes live on her own channel to rage about this man. And, you know, to some extent, I think it's fair that she wants to rage about him. I think that's real. Uh, he came for her. She's allowed to come for him. Absolutely. Now, what was fucked up about Chantal's initial live stream is that she used a picture of this man's wife in the thumbnail. The wife wasn't saying anything or doing anything to Chantal on the internet. Who I don't know if she's doing stuff in real life, right? But, like, on the internet, it was just this man that came for her, okay? A lot of people took issue with that from that live stream. And the other thing people took issue with is the way that she talked about this man's wife and specifically said that she was like basically a hoe. That homegirl was like sleeping with multiple people and Chantal weirdly emphasized that it was with four black men over and over and over again. He had like what four black guys living in the house and like He's a cuckold, basically doing stuff with his wife is the intent of what we're in, what we're insinuating here. Like for like imagine like Sala doesn't even want me like didn't even want me living with Pete, and he had four black guys living with his wife in the same room. They have a small apartment. There was like just a partition. Disgusting, disgusting dogs. Hansi Shakmuta. Goodbye. And a lot of people are like, why are you emphasizing the race of these men? This is very weird. This whole stream is weird. Why are you coming for this woman who seemingly didn't do anything to you, at least on the internet? You're like showing this picture of her. And it's also very interesting and I think a very fair critique that Chantal has used a lot of arguments related to the culture in Kuwait and things like that for why she doesn't show more about her relationship with Sala. Which, sure, is fair, whatever. Like, she talks about privacy and how they deserve privacy respect. And at this point, this other guy, this Allah guy, he hasn't really exposed too much about them, okay? So, <laughs> at this point, Chantal is like, exposing all of these things about his wife who's not a public figure and yet she always wants to fall back on well it's not it's not in the culture of Kuwait to share a lot of personal private things about your life but yet she's willing to disrespect that concept uh, to expose and get back at this man through his wife. So that obviously sparks some things with Allah and he does do, I think it was like an hour and 50 minute long live stream about Chantal and Sala. And here are some highlights that I got specifically just from, like these are points, bullet points from Shenanigans who I've linked in the past. And I'll leave actually Shenanigans and also Mo Translates. Mo has a Twitter and a YouTube account uh, where they do a lot of translation of the non-English parts of Chantal's videos or in this case Allah's videos and then Shenanigans is just like a good archivist on Twitter who keeps up with everything that happens. So just a few key points of things that Allah brought up in this stream is that allegedly Chantal and Sala aren't married. Chantal gives him money because he doesn't work. Allah says that Sala won't be going to Canada because immigration allegedly has his name, whatever that means, and that Sala supposedly has to wash Chantal. Allah also talks about how he gave Sala a bigger bed because Chantal broke the one that they had. One of the things I forgot to say about uh, Chantal streaming and raging is that Allah allegedly asked her for her number. And apparently, according to Allah, Chantal actually gave him her number and <laughs> it was just so that they could connect about YouTube or something like that. 
And Ala claims he was never trying to flirt with Chantal, which is what Chantal suggested he was trying to do. Also, apparently, that camping vlog that they did, Chantal really didn't do anything to help the other women. And the women had to care for her. She apparently couldn't do any of the washing or anything like that, things like that. So she, she just was there taking up space, essentially. Chantal apparently bought both of their rings for them. And the perfume she got from Sala was allegedly, according to Ala, perfume that he had bought for his wife, but instead gave to Sala so Sala could give it to Chantal. Apparently also, Sala is not necessarily working, at least according to Ala. So Ala had given him a job and then Sala quit so that he could do YouTube full time, which we're not gonna start shaming people for doing YouTube full time. And I think that's pretty much the gist of it all. It sounds like Ala is just concerned about his friend Sala, wants him to see that Chantal's not a good person and is hoping to get Sala away from her so that he can go back. Because it sounds like, according to Ala, not only is Ala concerned, but also a lot of Sala's family and things like that. I hope all of that made sense. <laughs> I will say, sometimes this bus parks right outside our building and you can't usually hear it on camera, but sometimes it does really distract me, and so <laughs> I'm gonna have to see if that made sense when I was editing, but like, it's just very distracting to me personally. Like, my brain doesn't function that way. So I hope all of that made sense. So anyways, then, last night, Chantal and Sala did a live stream on her channel where she <laughs> allegedly had these receipts from um, voice memos from Ala that he sent to Sala on WhatsApp, I believe. And Mo Translates has a great video where they translate all the things that are being said in the voice memo, so please go check that out for like the direct reference, etc. But basically, Sala and Chantal's argument is that Chantal didn't do anything wrong because she was only coming for that man's wife because he came for her first. And their proof that he came for her first was this voice memo that he sent privately to Sala, okay? He sent a private voice memo to Sala where he was asking Sala to take down a part of the camping vlog video that showcased his car because he didn't want his car seen on the video publicly. And to be fair, in the, the voice memos that Ala sent, he did, I believe, call Chantal a whore. I believe that was the word that he used. I mean, he didn't use whore. He used the equivalent in his language. And because of that, Sala and Chantal feel like they are entitled to being able to go online, dox this man's wife, and talk shit about this man and his wife. And a lot of this is important to note because according to like what I've heard from uh, Mo Translates and what I've read from other people in the community, it sounds like the laws in regards to how you talk about other people in Kuwait and slander them and defame them and things like that are pretty strict. And so what Chantal did in the context of those laws is really bad because she publicly went on a public platform and shamed this woman who wasn't even on YouTube to begin with and talked a lot of shit and slandered them and did all this stuff without necessarily proof or evidence and she's saying it's all okay because Allah did something privately, had a private conversation with Sala about editing a video. So Chantal claims that they've lawyered up with all the money in the world that she doesn't have and that she's prepared to take this on and she can't talk about a lot of stuff because, you know, there's a lot of stuff happening behind the scenes. She also talks a lot about like whether or not she's able to sponsor Sala or not and she's like, it's none of your business, but I do have a court hearing in Canada on January 30th where I'm going to get all this stuff cleared up, all of my stuff with my taxes cleared up, and it's all going to be good and fine and dandy. And then if I want, I could sponsor him. But like, I don't, I, I don't even have to do that because Sala has family in Canada that, that could sponsor him. So it's just a lot of like, mm, I don't know, bestie, you are, you are protesting a little bit too much. 
And I'm really curious, and this is why I kind of want to keep you all a little bit up to date on what is going on with Chantal, because I really think Chantal's return to Canada, which will be happening at the end of January, or at least that's what it sounds like, I think it's going to be a banger. <laughs> I think that era in particular is going to be good, and I just want y'all prepared in the event that I do cover more of what's going on in her life once she gets back to Canada. I hope that all makes sense. Again, very distracted by this bus that's parked outside of my home right now. It happens every once in a while. I wish they wouldn't do it because I literally have walked past before and it's just like the bus driver chilling in there. I don't know if they get a break or something and they just pick right in front of my home to do it, but that's what they're doing. But now, because I'm a music aficionado, I'm a music expert, have several I have several degrees, not in music. The, my degrees are in education, so I don't know. It feels like I should be an expert. You know what I am an expert in music in is uh, singing bad karaoke, and also in, in high school I was in choir and band. So I kind of know a thing or two about music, if you will. So I'm really excited to listen to uh, this original sick beat called... At the end of the day by Chantal Marie, Chantal Show, Footy Booty Floppy Bobby. So let's uh, let's get to let's get to, shall we? Hey, so I wanted to write a song. It's been a while since I wrote Pathetic and Starfish, so Oh, she also wrote Starfish, I forgot about that. But also, what is this weird ass? Uh, attempt at being sexy voice. <laughs> like, what is, it, what is that about? Is it because she's, like, whispering in the corner of the room so she doesn't wake up Sala or something? I thought I would write one call at the end of the day. I can barely and, hear her. Um, here it goes. I hope y'all can hear her. This is as, as loud as I can make it for y'all. So I hope y'all can hear her with this little not sexy whisper voice she's got going on. <laughs> At the end of the day, I will sing you a song. I know you got the notifications on. What is the reverb on this on this microphone? At the end of the day, I know you got the notifications on. Like I'm all wrong, but you're the one watching me though. At the end of the day, you think it's funny. It's grand while I'm away in the land of sand to peace and find out just for clout you'll fade away and I'll remain the echo is so fucking distracting <laughs> like it's almost louder than her sexy whisper voice at times but at the end of the day it, uh, what I heard her say is what at the end of the day I went to the sands to chase some clout and uh, maybe I just misheard her because it sounds like she, I think she was trying to say somebody else is chasing her clout, which like, I don't know what kind of clout people are trying to get from her. I'm, you're, you're certainly going to catch something, but it might not be clout. At the end of the day, got this to say, at the end of the day, hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 yeah. What what in the fat Albert? Y'all remember that 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 cartoon? I mean it's a really old cartoon, but he goes, hey, 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 or something like that. I'll insert a clip. Hey, hey, hey! You wish you were important to him, but he's watching me on your TV. Oh, this is about Nodder? Oh, this is this is about Nodder and Dee Dee? Wait, this is about... First of all, why did I think this was going to be about Allah? But no, it's about Nader and Dee Dee. Because I've seen this screenshot on, on YouTube, or not YouTube, Twitch. Where they showed, somebody like, showed a clip of Nader and Dee Dee watching Chantal on their TV. But she she's saying, at the end of the day, Dee Dee, you're trash because... <laughs> You're, you're still sitting there with my alleged ex watching me on his TV. So, like, get get a life, Dee Dee Mega Doo Doo. That's what she's saying. Let me translate for you. Don't tell me he never raised his hand. He only wishes he would. Jump scare, girl. <laughs> Jump scare. Real man. Sa, 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 ski. Sa, 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 ski. 
He only wishes he was a real man. Sad, sad, sad escape. Okay, all right. Chantal, what does it say about you that you are, what, almost 40, I think? I think she's almost 40. And you're sitting, allegedly, so happy with your bands and, and Kuwait. And you're writing dish tracks about a boyfriend. And then you you wonder why he still brings you up for clout. Which, like, honestly, truly, w at this point, who's watching Nodder for anything else except to see what he has to say about Chantal? I think that's fair. But, but like, he would stop talking about you if you stopped giving him attention. And people would stop going to see what he had to say if you stopped giving him attention, bestie. Sad, sad, sad skin and the queen of machine. The queen of Lachine jump scare fucking again. I closed my eyes as I'm saying it. I opened it up and there's Dee Dee Mega Doo Doo. Oh my god. At the end of the day. Oh, and then <laughs> I mean that should be a jump scare, but at this point I'm used to it. I'm about to end the song. I never promised to be very long, but you wish you did what girl you can't just keep repeating words and expect me to know what you mean Love you all my life. oh now it's a song about sala you wish you you wish you did love him all your life a diss track about Nader and a love song for Sala. I don't understand. I don't understand. It feels like those should be two separate songs. I mean, if we're being honest. Every kiss is like magic. Every touch is insane. Every you never leave your side. I'll always be a bride. Take care of Harry when I'm gone. How is she talking about kissing and touching like that happens? Girl, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't think there's any kissing or touching, bestie, but okay. <laughs> All right. Also, she has a hamster. I think we briefly talked about that. But wow, now this is a song about your hamster as well. Because it won't be for very long. I'll always come back to you, baby. I love you too much to say. Because words don't translate anything from my heart and... <laughs> words don't translate anything from my heart. Ugh, oh, so true. Wow. Ugh. Oh, ah. Oh. Uh, this is, this is, this is so touching. This is honestly the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. At the end of the day, I will always stay. Wow. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. That was it? That was it? That was it? I paid... I paid for what? <laughs> I paid for what and I got that? I didn't pay anything for that, actually. <laughs> to be honest. That shit was so dumb. Uh, God bless her for trying, though, you know? God bless her for trying. I don't, I, I mean, I couldn't do it. I, that's, but that's also why I don't write songs on YouTube, you know? But I couldn't do it. No, I sure couldn't. <laughs> I sure couldn't. <laughs> Anyways, that is all I have time for today. I, you know, I, I just wanted a quick little pop in with y'all to check in on old Chantal Marie, keep y'all up to date, give you some links and resources to people who, are doing a much better job of like archiving the nonsense that happens in Chantal's life than I am. But you know, I like to just come give you my little thoughts and commentary and things like that uh, on her every once in a while. And in the meantime, between time, you can get ready for tomorrow when I post a a recap of the first episode of season two of 1000 pound best friends besties i can't wait for that so make sure to come back tomorrow have your notifications on whoever whatever with that being said that's all i have time for today so make sure to subscribe down below if you're brand new to my channel make sure to hit the bell button so you get notifications every single time i post a new video Please make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I had so much fun today. I hope you did too, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!